In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make consistent coins over the rest of team of the season. Now, usually I'd show you guys who to snipe on a Thursday, and I thought, you know what? Instead of doing that, I just want to show you guys my whole process from start to finish on how I find players to snipe and make the most coins for team of the season. Make sure to watch to the end of this video. Let's get into it. If you want the cheapest FIFA 20 coins with a ban proof system, make sure to go and check out Mule Factory. I've left a link in the description. If you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. Let's get into it. Oh, what is going on, guys? LE96, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In this video, like I said, we're going to be back making some coins in FIFA 20. Now, yesterday, I uploaded a career mode video with Wigan Athletic. And that video did absolutely awful. So if this video could get a massive like target of over three likes, that would be absolutely sick. If you are new around here as well, make sure to subscribe for more Ultimate Team content, trading content, and basically tips and tricks within Ultimate Team to make sure that you get the best possible Ultimate Team. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So jumping over to the preview screen, usually what I do every single Thursday is I go over here and I go over to the Team of the Week and I take a look to see who's in the Team of the Week. Now, Team of the Week Moment 6 right now isn't in packs anymore and they've been replaced by Team of the Season. So what you guys need to do every single Thursday now, instead of going through and sniping these Team of the Week players, is go and find in players who are untapped from the team of the season. Now we've recently had players from the Saudi League, so as a result of that you can come over to the market and do some training with the Saudi League players. Now usually what I would recommend for you guys to do is to go through and find the team of the season players from each Monday. Don't go for the ones from Friday because if you go for the ones from Friday, they're going to be the most popular ones. Monday is the best ones to go for. So the Saudi League players right now are actually pretty attainable for quite a lot of people. And there are so many different team of the season cards who you can find on the market right now. You've got Gomez, you've got Mykon, Antelmo, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Almayouf, Amrabat, there's loads of different people you can go for. So basically what you're going to be doing every single Thursday or throughout each individual week to make coins is actually find yourself players from the team of the season who people don't want. So starting off with one of the players that I've managed to find whilst doing this sort of little method is Amrabat. Now Amrabat is someone who doesn't actually have himself any other special cards. He's only got himself his team of the season card and his team of the season card if I'm being completely honest isn't the best. It really really isn't the best. So if we just search up on the market I'll be able to show you guys his stats. Two star weak foot. No one's using this guy. But right now on the market, he's going for around 30,000 coins. Admittedly, his individual stats are pretty decent, but you can actually manage to get yourself very, very good deals on these players who come out on the Monday. And this is consistent coins throughout the rest of Team of the Season because we're always going to be getting ourselves new Team of the Season cards every Monday. Now, they might not be the most popular cards. However, if that is the case, what you can do then is come through and do some sniping on them, do some mass bidding on them, whatever it may be. So what we're going to do right here is just go through for maybe like five minutes, something like that, and just see if I can find myself an Amrabat whilst it's rewards day today. Maybe I've managed to find myself something. I'm honestly not too sure, but let's jump into it. There we go. One there at 30k. Oh my god, there's another at 30k as well. We've managed to get one at 30,000 coins, which is very, very nice indeed. This guy is selling right now at around 33,000 coins as well. Tax is 1,500 coins, so we will be making a pretty decent profit. For the sake of this video, though, I'll go for 32,750 to get him sold on. And this is exactly what I mean. The less popular players from the team this season will pop up quite a bit, and you can see right here at the bottom I'd only been searching for what's that 33 searches and I managed to find one at a couple thousand coins under we've made a pretty easy profit and there's another one right there that I'm not gonna be able to get because I've run out of coins they do sell on pretty quickly though so that is the good thing about this I'm not gonna be without coins for too long but this works with pretty much every single player from the Saudi League who you can get on a snipe save for example they've not got any other special cards that's perfect for us so let's just take a look at another one another one that you can go and do some sniping with as well as Amrabat is gonna be my com. and this will work pretty much for the rest of team of the season especially when these cards are in packs but as you can see right here my com right now is going for around 20 thousand coins roughly 22,000 coins so you could probably get him at 20,000 coins on a snipe and again I'm going to go through with this guy and I'm going to see if I can get myself to deal with this one as well because if I can I'm buzzing there we go 19,250 damn it I missed the whole one at 19,250 that's 2,000 coins profit more or less that I've just missed out on there we go we managed to get on at 20,000 coins so we can sell this one on at around 20 
1750 we should still be making profit at that a nice around i think around a thousand coins i think well around 600 to 700 coins but it didn't really take us too long to see that and i honestly i've seen so many cards as well whilst i've been doing this so there you go there's the first little method that you can use to make consistent coins for the rest of the team of the season but i've got another method to show you guys as well so let's jump into that so another way to make coins over team of the season is by finding team of the season cards who people have tried out don't like sell them on in a mood that's basically it. We've all done it. You've made a team. You've gone through and built it. You thought this is the perfect team. You've gone into a game, got slapped 7-0, and you've suddenly started listing all your players up in a rage. So what we want to do right now is basically find players who are in the team of the season right now who have chemistry styles on them to increase the value. Now, if you find any cards with a shadow or a hunter on them, perfect. Or if you find any with a catalyst on them as well, that works as well. So what you need to do is just go and find yourself a random team of the season card. Now I'm just using a completely random one. I've not looked into this before I started recording. I've just started recording and we're just trying this one out. So I've found Carlos Eduardo. He's a left mid from the Saudi League team of the season. Now he does have himself a inform card as well, but that doesn't matter. Now for a left mid card, ideally you would want like a hunter on it or a sniper or something like that, but we're going to be going for the hunter because it's the most expensive. You don't really want to be trading with this card with a sniper or a dead eye or something like that on it because they're not really too expensive so it won't really increase its value now hunters right now are going for around 10,000 coins so you could potentially be increasing the value of that card by 10,000 coins so what we're going to do is just take a look to see what his card is going for with a hunter on it now his normal team of the season card is going for around 20,000 coins so if we can find anything around that price with a hunter on it we probably find ourselves a good deal but with this one as you can see right here We've managed to find one at 27,500 pretty much instantly. So I'm going to chuck him over to my transfer list. And what I'm actually going to do right now is actually go over here and take the price off to see what he is actually going for in Hunter. Now with Hunter, as you'll be able to see, he's completely extinct. Now Hunter cards are ranging between 8,000 and 9,000 coins. So we've potentially increased this value by 8,000, 9,000 coins. Now all we need to do is just take a look to see what he's actually going for without a Hunter chem style on him. Now he's going for around 22,000 coins roughly right now. Yeah, around 22,000 coins. Considering we've just got ours at 27,000 coins we could potentially sell this for a profit of around 2,000 3,000 coins at around 30k because we've increased his value by at least 8,000 coins by having that hunter on him so that is honestly such an easy easy profit to get considering we've got him at 27 and a half thousand coins we can go over here and list him up for 29,500 and make ourselves a very very nice profit so there you go as soon as this guy sold on though I do want to be showing you guys a couple of different plays that you can use this with as well like I always say in every single video you don't always have to go for the players that I'm going for I'm just using these as an example say for example you watch this video on Saudi League Tots isn't even out anymore you can go and try this out with whatever players came out on the Monday previous to whenever you're watching this video I've had to open my window behind me as well but if you can hear anything from the roads I do apologize I'm not being funny as well that's the same guy every single day if you ever hear any revving in the background, it's probably him. Some random... What's the word that I can use without getting this video demonetized? Numpty. <coughs> On a bike. Weirdo. He's about... He's middle-aged as well. He's about 40, 50, and he just comes about revving his motorbike every single day. And I know for a fact that he's not going to the shop for his one trip to the shop a day or whatever it, it don't matter he sold on so carlos eduardo has sold on it isn't showing his chemistry style now i've got a lot of people commenting about this in the past and saying it's fake chemistry style's not showing up or maybe when i've done a position change for whatever reason if you ever sell on a player who has a position change or a chem style on him there's always a chance that it won't show up once they've sold on but i guarantee you guys that he has sold on but let's jump into another player then i can show you guys this working with someone else as well so i'm gonna go for my next one i'm gonna go for someone else from the saudi league again i've not checked anything before i started recording i'm doing 
all of this off the cuff just to show you guys how well that it does work and it is going to be Igor Rossi now this is someone from the Saudi League team of the season if I can keep on him over here now he is actually a defender now when I go for defenders I don't go for hunters I always go for shadows anyone in a forward position is a hunter and usually in the middle it's a catalyst however catalyst isn't ex expensive as shadow or hunter shadows always more expensive so let's take a look to see if there's anything of him as his team of the season card in shadow so with the shadow on him, he's going for 35k. There's just not a deal there. There just really isn't a deal there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice. I've managed to get myself an Igor Rossi with a catalyst on him for 11,000 coins. There we go, the boys. Now, catalysts at the minute are averaging between 2,000 and 3,000 coins. Now, Igor Rossi, as far as I'm aware, is actually going for 11,000 coins at the minute as well. So, we've actually managed to make ourselves a pretty decent profit. We've managed to increase his value by a couple thousand coins by doing this. So, I'm just going to go over and show you guys how much Rossi is actually going for. So, if we go over here and go to 11,250, as you'll be able to see, yeah, he's going for around 11,000 coins roughly, as you can see right here, in a basic chem style, but in catalyst, there's as far as I'm aware, I think that he's going for around 15,000 coins, I think. Yeah, 15,000 coins. And that one's expiring in a minute. So we can list ours up for around 13,000, 13,250, something like that. Make a nice 2,000 coins profit on that one. Not bad. We're going to come over here and then list him up for, you know what, 13,500. Lovely stuff. I've got some other things on my transfer list as well. I've been doing some other trading for... Maybe a video that's coming out, let me know down in the comment section if you want to see that trading method. But, there we go, we've managed to get Igor Rossi on the transfer list for a pretty nice price. Hopefully, we'll be selling on pretty soon. But, that is where I'm going to be wrapping up this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for more trading and more Ultimate Team tips. But, this 36, this has been how to make consistent coins over the rest of Team of the Season so far. Team of the Season, whatever it's bloody called now. But, it's 36, and I am off. Goodbye.